Yeah. Sometimes I like to be out here and just start recording while I'm on my walk. You know, so it's kind of hard to have those talking points with me. But that is a good point. And I do write that shit down. Hopefully I just have it in my memory. But uh, I just wanted to come through here and make a couple of points because, uh, you know, we see people on YouTube and, you know, we know what we know. They show us what they show us, you know. Um, But I'm just trying to say uh, there's a certain, with, with me, the way I think, the way I'm rolling, there is a certain level if you see the, the sun is not even up yet it looked a little brighter on this thing than it actually looked behind, when i looked with my neck the eye you know um yeah there's a certain level of discipline i got i get up early in the morning i do things i exercise i do things you know like like they say i, I try I, what i do my best to live the life that i want to live the life like millionaire type lifestyle um, and I'm sure every single millionaire ain't the same, but most of them, they, there's certain ways they roll, and they do exercise. Most most dudes I know, they, they ripped, you know, or whatever. They big. They in shape. It's a part of the program. Sure, you know, like Warren Buffett or somebody, I'm sure is not doing that kind of shit, but, you know, it's, there, there's probably quite a few of those type people. But they doing something. They doing extra shit that regular people don't like reading a lot of books or studying a lot it's just a certain discipline that the way that they're uh dividing and using their time y'all have 24 hours in a day but how do you use it what are you using it for are you um strengthening yourself your mind your body your spirit your soul whatever are you using it for that or is it just a bunch of foolishness and laughter and um titties and asses shaking all over the place whatever um everything has its time and place don't get me wrong anyway i'm 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 saying this uh hey like and subscribe if this is there if it's not there i guess you can't do that but you can still like it you can still follow whatever 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 the case is anyhow i'm saying all this to say that like man, I'm I'm doing the work. I'm not just a dude out here talking shit, I, you know. And you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm putting in real work, real time. I'm. I decided to when I uh broke up with my ex, with the narcissist person. And ain't no doubt, you know, they claim all that shit. They claim to be bipolar and this and that and the other. And as if that's not going to manifest in certain behaviors. You claim to be bipolar. You claim to be, uh, I don't know, OCD, whatever. You know, some, all these terminologies that's not healthy. But anyway, my point is... I'm putting in that work, man. I'm doing this leg work. I'm doing this mind work. I'm doing this shadow work. I'm, I'm, I'm you know, and it's been a while. Uh, I had a tragedy happen last year. Next month, next month, last year, in October 20th, 2020, my daughter committed suicide. So there is that. But the thing is, I had already made the commitment to myself. I was already doing these things, you know, like for a couple years, at least two, three years. I've been on my game, getting up early, studying Spanish, studying business, watching motivational videos, um, learning about more and more about narcissists and how they work. It's quite a few people video that I watch and that helped me a lot through 
through that experience. I'm just able to say that shit without busting out in tears that my daughter committed suicide. It's taken me almost a year to be able to say that without, like I had to shut the fucking phone down, man. I had to shut this shit down. But I was already, I was saying, I was already doing this. I was already I, just starting my new businesses just with the idea of airbnb just learning about this stuff and i was even telling her i will have a position for you you could come live with me you could come here but the the abuse she was the scapegoat of the family i had five children with my ex-wife my daughter that committed suicide was the scapegoat of the family they all was fucking y'all know how this shit go you know when mama decided that you the enemy you the enemy and mama don't give a fuck about nobody but mama decided she's the enemy and went in on her in that certain way you know and she had a a a, a, a rough fucking life man you know going to jail um doing all kind of things, I guess, for attention or whatever the reason, you know, just living a foul fucking life, man. She was, her and her friend, they was robbing people or whatever, you know, like, it was some bad shit going down. And she ended up on, on probation for, like, a ridiculously long time, something like seven years or something, getting into arguments with the rest of the family and they would call the police on her knowing that she's on probation this your sister that's your brother and it was just like all kind of drama and i know like most things i don't even know about most of it i don't know about it's like when shit got way out of proportion is when they would tell me something or when shit was you know, off the chain. Whenever it get way off the chain, she just want me in the know to fuck with me. And like, let me know something. And the minute I show concern, she don't answer the phone no more. She just shut it down. She's completely not talking to me anymore. She just let me know, oh, these children, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so now I'm I'm concerned parent. I'm, I'm You want me to be a parent? I'll be a parent. I'll step in. The minute I do it, she shut it down. No more contact. No more communication. You know? And that's was the way that it was. So, it's very little that I know about. I know highlights. And I know what I know through instinct or through, um, you know, there's a psychic connection or whatever. Um, and the trip is, right, and my daughter was 21 years old. She took a life at 21 years old. 21 years old. And, like, yeah, that, 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 dealing with that is, has been hard. I ain't even gonna lie for me. I know that bitch don't give a fuck. And the thing is, I got put in the position with that shit that I never would have thought because of uh, the circumstance. Fuck, I don't barely talk to her, let alone be around her and end up being in the room in the same bed, sleeping with this motherfucker. You know, my enemy, my, my, she's sworn to be my enemy. Man, I'm just trying to live my life. I don't, I'm not trying to be your fucking enemy. This shit is ridiculous, retarded, and stupid to me. But it is what it is. Yeah, but you know, ain't no funny business, nothing happened, you know, I, 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 the thing is, you know, the thought to choke the shit out, this motherfucker crossed my mind, or that she might choke the shit out of me or slit my throat in my sleep, shit like that. Now, it's a king-size bed, there's plenty of room, we ain't had to even 
getting nowhere near touching each other. And then there was another situation with some bullshit, like, uh, cause my daughter worked at a hotel. Anybody watching this far, hey, it's a story. But my daughter worked at a hotel. I got five children with my ex-wife, so I got um, uh, two boys and three girls, you know. So one of my daughters worked at the hotel and they had a hot tub and was like, you know, we trying to supposedly, we, okay, we be doing the counseling on the phone, family counseling. We had a few sessions. We be doing massages and just things to be able to relax and chill and get our mind off of this, like, real life things that we can do. And it makes some sense. And I'm going with that. And man, I was in the mode. I was then about to move out there. Where they at? They live in a whole nother town. They live near Dallas. So I'm then about to move. And, um, you know, I was going back and forth, going to the hotel. I was going to the massage place and all this. And I'm like, Maybe things are gonna change. Maybe it's gonna be different. Maybe I can end up with a relationship with my children. Even, even you know, but the vibe, man, it was just really, really bad. The vibe is, 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 I got the, I follow my instinct a lot lately. Now, I learned to follow my instinct and my instinct said, nah, you, I felt, like I'm pushing this even though you're acting like, you know, like she's going behind my back doing things. They're not genuine. Cause uh, for example, I know just so happened, just so happened, my cousin popped up and went to the funeral. She just popped up out the blue. She arranged it, not really behind my back, but you know, through the kids and through whatever, do some side, you know, like not me. So she arranged where she's coming out there. And um, so she was talking shit to my cousin about me, telling us some old shit, old lies. It's not even true. Old lies, like he cheated on me and this and that and the other. Like, motherfucker, we ain't been together for 20 years. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not, not quite 20 years, but you know, so long, why are you saying that? It's not true. You the one cheating. You was the one with all them dudes. You know? But anyway, I digress. So, that's how I know. Like, she, they, that's what they do. It's never on an up and up. There's always some underhanded shit. So, she wasn't anything that she's pretending with me is not genuine. This shit ain't real. She, she's just faking it. You understand what I'm saying? That's what that is. Yeah, so. Right. But they don't know. Back to the discipline thing. They don't know. They don't understand. Especially when you're not disciplined yourself. When you're getting up at. I'm, I mean, I'm. I'm very consistent i have some days especially uh i've been drinking i wasn't drinking at all for years and i've been drinking though since my daughter's death um excuse perhaps i i'm pretty sure i could like anything else man i didn't quit smoking cigarettes and you know I, i've quit in a lot of things i quit drinking before you know i quit it when i want to everything has its time like i it's like i don't want to but i do want to drink <laughs> i can't drink that much i'm eating nothing but vegetables and shit you know and, and so i think it's gonna run it's 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 time out, but everything has a purpose, man. I don't, I don't know everything. Maybe it's, it's a good thing right now, you know, something I need right now. I could be on some type of 
volumes or some shit. You know, volumes or quaaludes or some kind of shit like that, which is even more powerful and addictive and have you sleepy all day. I don't drink all day, you know, so I think I'm better off self medicate. I'm sorry. Uh, you know. Oh, wait. Oh, man. I messed up. I think I messed up. Anyway, so I fall asleep in the chair. Sometimes it's that comfortable after a couple. Uh, and that's the only time that I don't get up. Bef you know, at the time that, that that I set. So I'm saying this to say that's discipline. These people can't see this. They don't know this. They're still in the same mode. They still think you the same as you were 15 years ago or last year even or two years ago or whatever. They don't know that you've changed, you know. So, and then also I decided to not pursue anyone else to not just jump to do what I I guess been trained to do or trained myself to do to just jump in another relationship maybe get in one before you even out of one just jump in and quickly find some of a, a replacement and man that motherfucker ain't gonna be qualified you know are you dead quick you barely out of one, and then you into another one? Nah. I know I've been down that road before many, many times. You know, it, it never works. Like, I barely even remember the ones that I was trying to replace. You know, when I was in that relationship and with the wife, and, and um, you know, you be se I've been separated many times. So you get into another relationship many times. But it never lasts. She gonna make sure it don't last because she gonna throw all kind of curveballs in the shit. But the shit, the thing is, the trip is like you never had through no throw no curveballs. You didn't know, but the shit wasn't working anyway. The, the shit never was working. There's always some bullshit. And then this motherfucker's doing so stupid. It would like if you didn't do that, maybe I would have come back anyway. And you wouldn't play that part that you played, but you did because you can't help it. Yeah, it's fully daylight now. The sun is up, baby. But that's what I'm talking about. Everybody ain't out here early in the morning like this, man. Everybody ain't out here when it's dark. And I ain't even out here. Like, I switch it up. Mostly, I do it the other way around. I'm in the garage with the weights. When it's dark. Well, I've switched it back up. Because I used to do the walk first. I used to only walk. And and didn't do no weights. Or no, um, you know, maybe I'd do some stretches or something. With no weights. Or, you know, very little weights. You know, like, very little. I've, I've learned. But that, studying, reading, making that commitment and it it's work but it's less work the more you do it the more the more you practice that the more you have that so i'm just trying to say all that to say that i'm disciplined man i'm i'm on my fucking a game all the time even the drinking the slightly slipping i am on a I'm five star five star G out in this bitch so yeah um maybe I should make a whole nother video cause this is a little long and to make the other point cause a lot of people I'm sure are not gonna make it this far only the brave in a few so uh yeah that
I think I'm gonna stop it now. Cause then, you know, I just, I mean, people make videos fucking an hour, hour and a half, whatever. So, perhaps it's entertaining and interesting enough or whatever. Yeah, it's trash there, y'all. That's the garbage truck passing by. But you know, y'all know what I'm saying is real, man. You know, so when you own your game, you own your game. You know, that's that's the the proof is in the pudding. You doing or you not doing. There ain't no ain't no trying to do shit. Either you doing it or you not. I'm trying to get up early. How that's working out? I'm trying to exercise. How that's working out? I'm trying to drink more water. Get the man, get the fuck. Do it. <laughs> Do it. <clears throat> All right, y'all. Like I said, I'm gonna sign that off, and I, I I'll come back. I, I you know, this is my style for now. Peace, y'all.